is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here. Well, it's always an exciting day when a big box from LEGO arrives, and today we've got some cool stuff here, and it's some sets that aren't out yet, but they have been revealed, and they are the Avatar Way of Water sets. So I'm really uh, excited to build these because all of the Avatar sets so far have had pretty interesting builds. So we'll take them out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look at them one by one, but... Uh, it's nice that this Avatar Wave actually has a wider span of sets and price ranges than the first movie wave that came out just a few weeks ago. So let's start taking a look at these a little up close. Okay, so at the time of this video being recorded, Avatar The Way of Water is not out yet, so we don't really have full context for what these sets are or what they mean. But at present time, one of the big things to talk about about the Avatar theme is how pricey the sets are. Now, I have a little cheat sheet here, so we'll talk about the prices of all of these when they come out. But I think that these are actually priced better than the Avatar sets that came out in the first wave. So let me just get to it and start explaining. So this one here is the Elu Discovery. Again, you'll have to bear with me on the pronunciations. And that's what it looks like to me. But anyways, this one is $25. And this isn't so bad because, you know, you do get two avatar minifigs in it which is definitely cool um one of them does have shorter legs though so that's something to be mindful of in fact i think that both of them may have shorter legs upon closer examination yeah i see that this one has the mid-sized legs and this one has regular minifig sized legs so i guess i have to retract my statement i think for 25 dollars it would have been awesome to get the tall legs that we'll see in the sets upcoming here but I don't know. I do think if you like Avatar, it's probably hard to skip on this one for how cheap it is. So moving up to the $35 one, we have the Swim Wing Adventure. Now, luckily this time we do get the tall legs. You can see that they're three studs tall as opposed to two studs, which the normal minifigure is. We get these big wings here, and it looks like it's going to make for a great display. But you know, as I like to say, especially with something like Avatar, it's too, uh, it's a little difficult to get too invested this early in the game before we know what's going on with the movie and the context of these sets and whatever the case may be. After all, if we went by that, the Iron Man Ultimate Battle with Mandarin's golf cart would be like the greatest set ever, right? Anyways, jumping back in, we've got the Mako Submarine. This actually looks really cool, and I love the militaristic look that uh, a lot of the vehicles in the Avatar Wave 1 and now this wave have gotten. So this one is going to retail for $60. I do think that this one's a little bit better priced um, than some of the stuff in the first wave. We do get this new arrow here that actually is going to be able to shoot an arrow projectile so that's quite cool and i love too that all of these avatar sets are kind of built to display like here you can see the sub uh has this little coral reef base for it to go on so i do like that a lot now we're getting up to the bigger sets this is the 80 dollar met kyena reef home again bear with me on those pronunciations but this is one that I think the front of the box makes it look better than it is, if I'm being completely honest, especially at the $80 price point. Because when we flip it around and you take off the digital art, you can see that there's like, you know, some water built into these like poles that are holding up the reef home. But I don't think it translates as well to make like making it look underwater. So it's cool. It's just not my favorite. $80 is a lot to ask people to spend in this, uh, you know, tumultuous economy that we're in but i do like this i just don't know about 80 dollars. maybe when i build it it'll win me over and finally we have the pay a can the tolkien and crab suit so i assume that that is the tolkien it's like a giant whale piece and then we have a small militaristic crab suit build on the other side when we flip it around you can see that this whale has so many big, uniquely molded pieces for this. That definitely is what's going to drive up the price for a set like this. And as far as minifigs go, looks like we're only really getting three minifigs. And they don't even have the tall avatar legs. They're all regular minifigure size. So, you know, it's it remains to be seen. Obviously, we got to see the movie, understand the context. I think that these are cool. I'm, of course, very grateful that LEGO sent them early for me to review, and those uh, reviews will be coming here sooner than later. But let me know what you think of these sets in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.